Welcome back to Yang Yang Table Tennis Lessons. We talk about the first technique of long pips, block topspin, which turns the topspin to underspin. Just in case you missed it, please check out my previous video for more details. Today, I'm going to introduce you another technique of long pips, which is push against the underspin. This technique turns underspin ball to topspin. In long pips, it's an attack technique. So let's check out the breakdown of this technique. Same as a block topspin, stand at left side of the table. If you are lefty, stand at right side of the table. When we play push against underspin, we are trying to attack an underspin ball. As we all know, most of the time, underspin are shot like here. So we have to get close to the table, sometimes even take one step in to attack. If you play pen holder, this joke just looks like pen holder's backhand drive. Push your racket forward, extend your arm forward as well. That's it. The stroke just like this easy. Weight transfer. If you wanted to attack the ball with power, you want to not only use your ass strength, but also your body's strength. So transfer your body weight from right leg to left leg, like this. But when you take a step in, so your body weight transfer looks like this. From back, and go forward. Go forward. Racket angle depends on how much spin the coming ball has. If the ball has lots of arm spin, you have to open your racket angle like this. like this. Otherwise, close more. Actually, for pushing against the underspin, the most important part is your formal arm. You could keep your wrist stay still. Accelerate your full arm at the moment you contact the ball. This will help you increase the speed and power, like this. As I mentioned before, long pips hit the ball fast almost every time. So for this technique, if you could try to attack the ball right after the bounce and change the returning angle at the last minute, you could give your opponent a big surprise. Cool. Let's check out my demonstrations. how to play long pips. Practice by yourselves and feel it. Leave your comments and let me know what other confusions you have. Good luck! In my next video, I will talk about how you, who use regular rubbers to play against with long pips. By knowing the concept of long pips, it will be very easy to play against with them. You will find out in my next video. 
All right, wish you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.